How's it going everyone? Welcome back to a double mileage pack opening and shovels video with the Boston team. Gonna start off by doing some special combos and try to clear up some space here and blow some stars. And then shortly I should be doing a SIG pack and then a SIG combo. Really, I should have at least one gold prime, unless I'm just not seeing it. That's really strange. Let me see if it's unlocked, or locked, I mean. Oh, it is locked, okay. Actually, while I'm in there, I might as well see if there's anyone else to unlock. Um, no batteries. Okay, should be good to go. Sorry, I didn't check that beforehand. You know, actually, I'll probably do a two diamond combo to increase my chances of getting a diamond back. My god, did I go past that prime card again? What is going on? Did I accidentally hit it twice? Jesus Christ. Um, oh, apparently I did. Okay, let's try this a third time. Uh, it's not a bad card, probably not any better than that Harper though. At least it's a diamond back. Almost good skills, but really not an upgrade. Oh yeah, I could have sworn I had two diamond. Vintages. Really? No, I guess not. I thought I had two of them, but maybe I was thinking of two diamond primes. I don't know. Well, it's a Boston card, but unfortunately it's not a diamond, so I guess I'll hold on to it in case I get his SIG. I'm, I'm almost positive he has a SIG here, so I'll hold on to that. Uh, why does it seem like every single time I do double mileage combos, I get a Chan Ho Park at some point? It's, it's just guaranteed, no matter what account I'm using. Chan Ho Park, Chan Ho Park, Chan Ho Park. Every single time. Well, that sucks. I'm just getting worse grades pretty much every time I feed golds and, and diamonds in. Another Boston card, not useful though, because he's already level 20.
Gotta be getting close to 7,000. Yep, all past it, so. Really fun. Alright, let's open up a SIG um, mileage pack here. Lando Arcia. Not his best year. Alright, time for a SIG combo. Freddie Freeman. So I'm still old for like six thousand free to play sig from uh, combos and packs. Well, I guess I can continue doing uh, vintage combos. All right, there's a the gold. Would be nice to get a legend from these combos one of these years. Ooh, got a diamond, okay. Things are finally starting to turn around. Okay, last one, I guess. I'll hold on to that diamond for next month. And still no legend. Okay. Um, enough for one normal shuffle, I guess. It's a very nice shuffle. It's not a bad Iglesias and Kluber. That's a pretty mediocre card right there. Um, it's time to put all the new toys away. And start ripping open some silver and premium packs here. Just got the 100 premium packs from the pack event. Oh, it's too bad that Hernandez is a Dodger year. Can't use it for Black Diamond experience. Nothing there either. Nothing useful there. Wong, not sure how you how you pronounce that. I think it different players uh pronounce it differently. Some weighing, some wong. Got a gold uh, vintage, that's cool. Maybe I will be able to do another vintage combo.
If I can get one more gold, I'll for sure do one. Well, two diamonds from 50 or 60 ain't bad. It's a decent Corey Seager. No skills, though. Inventory's probably full. Oh, no, I guess not. Hembry, I guess that'll be Black Diamond material. Because the one that I have is level 20, not the best pitcher in the world. But who knows, maybe that'll be a future... Uh, Card to try to roll a uh, pitcher's chemistry on. It's not a bad shuffle of Freeman, team mascot, Jonathan Scope, and of course they all go north. That sucks. Oh, that's Tyler Thornburg. That's one of his uh, good years. Really wouldn't mind that on the Brewers team. Another gold, come on, man. It's a diamond. It's actually a nice Carrasco. Didn't even realize he did that well that year. Oh, come on. You're killing me. Okay, last combo for now. Then I'll do... Special training to open up inventory. Should be able to finish uh, Hernandez today and finally get his uh, two gold skills to blue or diamond, whatever you want to call it.
probably not very many cards left. Okay, never mind, I guess there was. All right, this should be it for special training. Let's get back into ripping open some premium packs. We'll get a few more opportunities for diamonds, I guess, with the arcade packs and the ones from the uh, returning player event, live premium packs, etc. No, no, no lives. Speaking of lives, I'm really happy now that I saved the live diamond wish player pack for this account. Because they really did add some really nice buffs to Player of the Month bonuses. So hopefully one of the Red Sox players gets uh, Player of the Month. Or assuming they still uh, allow it, Player of the Week should be... It normally gets included in Player of the Month bonuses. Hopefully they didn't remove that when they buffed the Player of the Month bonuses with this update. Wouldn't surprise me if they did, to kind of make it more of a, like, exclusive thing. I don't know how, how to put it. Okay, that's a Black Diamond experience right there. Miguel Cabrera, that will be upgrade material because I'm going to use that one that I have in my backups for one of the mentor levels that requires really good batting stats. Alright, at least one diamond. Okay, that's fine. That's about par for the course for ultimate packs. That's a prime year brower. Almost good skills. Well, not really because Fixer and Winning Streak cancel each other out. Seems like I have one live ultimate pack pretty much every week. That's not going to help. Let's rip open some premium vintage. Hopefully I get at least one gold. That'd be nice. Alright. Now I can do another uh, combo. Joe Carter. You know, it's, it's kind of interesting because, I mean, basically everybody remembers Joe Carter being on the Blue Jays, but they gave him a Cleveland card instead. All right, live season diamond pack. Then I'll get to the main event. It's not a terrible card. No skills, though, so... You'll be getting comboed. All right, kind of, <clears throat> kind of nervous for this. This is from the package that they just offered with the update. You can't select a uh, pitcher or batter. It's just a standard uh, team select signature pack. I 
Thankfully, the SIGs that I do have are all one or two shots. They don't, I don't have a super high dupe chance, but it's still always a possibility, unfortunately. It's a gold. Um, okay, that's fine. I'll, wow, that's actually pretty decent because I'll be, he would be replacing a normal JDM anyway, so probably his worst SIG year. I'm almost positive of that, but it's not a horrible card overall. Kind of low eye, which kind of sucks, but I can definitely work with that. And I should have, well, at least the one diamond to use for uh, the guaranteed upgrade. Also, I have his um, prime card in backups. I have at least one prime JDM in backups. I might have two. Uh, I'm probably thinking of a different player. So let me grab couple of vintages to do one last vintage combo. Then I'll put everyone else back that I'm not going to use. Oh, I didn't even need to grab one. Okay, I forgot I had that Langford. Oh, I might actually, you know what, I might have enough to do two uh, vintage combos now. Because I have at least two diamonds and at least three golds. Okay, cool, got a silver JDM. Another silver JDM. And since it's double mileage and my upgrade luck on this account is absolutely trash, I'm just going to bite the bullet and spend the gold for uh, guaranteed upgrades. That way I don't even have to yank the diamond out of my lineup. Just keep them in the lineup until this card's finally ready to go in. And where's the... Oh, it's finally way on the bottom. So I think that's four JDMs that I have. So let's get cracking on some combos here. I, I thought I had two diamond vintages. Maybe I was thinking of a prime or something. That's unless it's locked. Shouldn't be. Ooh, diamond, but not a team card. I guess I can check his skills real quick. You never know. No, trash. Pretty much fool's gold. I'll check my backups real quick to see if I ha I think I do have another gold, but I'm probably thinking of that Langford that I had in uh, reserve already. Um, yeah, that's probably the case. I don't think I have another gold vintage. I mean, I have that Babe Ruth, but actually, you know what? Hmm. Since I pulled that Sig JDM, I might not, might not even use that Babe Ruth that I have. It'd be pretty a pretty close call whether he's actually better than that Mookie Betts, but I'd rather just keep the Mookie Betts. Okay, so I'll just do a one diamond, one gold, one silver vintage combo, I guess. Well, another diamond, that's cool, but 
probably one of the worst uh, vintage starting pitchers. Almost skills, but only got two skills, so he's not going to get used. You know what, since I have those two silvers left, might as well get it over with. Got tons of stars, so I'm not worried about that. Come on, baby, give me a diamond team card, please. Well, that's pretty much what I expected. Can't really expect a diamond from a diamond silver silver combo to be honest. Couple of interesting cards that but that master Masterson's not gonna be good enough. Unless he has like triple three insane skills. That's the only way that card would be remotely useful. Don't even know why they gave him a Boston Yard. Live Boxberger, he finally gave up his first uh, earned run of the season the other day. Actually, yeah, I'll combo that card. Wouldn't mind that Napoli, although I don't think that's a Boston year. Yeah, so that wouldn't even be Black Diamond material, unfortunately, and he's already level 20. Devers would be useless. You know, I'm actually debating on whether I want to go ahead and grade increase that JDM right away or just train him as uh, gold and then do skills on him next week. He won't be ready to use this week anyways because I can't really use any of my uh, skill level tickets because I'm going to be using all the ones I do have to get the late level mentor because those uh, levels need uh, level 6 skills across the board. So even if I start with all level 3 skills, that'd be 30 skill uh, levels that I would need to level up in order to get the 18 and 19 mentor done. No skills on that Dever, so he'll be getting comboed. Already got his sig. Not the best shuffle. Another Dever is back to back pretty much. It's not a terrible Houston Street.
<clears throat> trying to think if there's anything else I can do before doing the off-video stuff here. Well, screw it. I'm ready here. Um, let's go ahead and grade increase that JDM, I guess. Um, okay. Oh, that's weird. Um, where did he go? Just missing him on the other screen. That's weird. Oh, oops, upgrade. Unless did I lock that uh, prime? No. Wow, that is really, really strange. I'm gonna, maybe I lock that prime up. That's the only way that I would uh, see this happening unless it's just a stupid glitch. But that's gonna piss me off if, if I can't upgrade this card. Okay, that's good. It's just a lock, okay. That was kind of freaking me out for a minute there. Only got 16 skill change tickets, but you know what? Since it's double mileage, I'll probably open up secondary skill slots on some of my batters that have good but not outstanding skill sets. Not the best grade increase. Hopefully I have some resets. Uh, doesn't look like it. Let me see if I can get one from the club. Nope, already got it.
Oh. Triple three, but prediction's not quite good enough to use greens on, unfortunately. If it was batting machine or better, I might do that. Another triple three with prediction, really. That's strange. Two out of three. Like in these high skill levels, at least. Finally found a good skill, 15 skill changes in. Well, that was frustrating. Didn't see Charisma, Spotlight, or Batting Machine once. And I'm definitely not going to be using premium skill change tickets on a blue card. Um, guess I can open up some backups here and hope for some luck doing that. Garbage, okay. Garbage. He's really not doing as well as he should be. That skill set's kind of, uh, it looks good, but it's really not that great. Um, garbage again. Suppose it wouldn't hurt to do a Euclid. He's got a decent skill set, but not fantastic. And interesting, but still useless. I think I already have a second set on Hembry. Um, that'll wrap it up then. Thanks for watching, and I'll be doing a double mileage video with the Brewers account on Sunday, so thanks everyone. Bye.